Okay, this is just a little comparison video, just for the uh, Leica 50mm Summicron version 5, which is this version, um, compared to the new Apo aspherical version, which is this one. Uh, you can buy the, the version 5 for about £1,700 or about £1,000-ish new. I think I got mine a bit cheaper than that. I managed to get a good deal used. Um, and then the Apple, they're quite hard to get hold of at the moment. Um, and they go for about 5600 Um But I think there's supposed to be a price increase coming upon this lens. Uh, I managed to get mine from RG Lewis in London. So... Um, so yeah, but you can see the size, I mean they are pretty much the same size, the Apple's slightly bigger, um, but they're great little lenses. I actually bought a Sumilux, 50mm Sumilux Aspherical after I bought the original Summicron and I just never really gelled with that lens, I always found it from a little bit too big and a bit heavy. Um, I mean that's all relative obviously but heavy in a rangefinder kind of like away but um, I always in, ended up going back to this lens because I just found this lens just a stunning lens to use um, it's great ergonomics it takes stunning pictures uh, it's really sharp lens it's just it's just a great lens I love it um, Focusing is beautiful on this. The aperture stops are great. They really lock in place nicely, and it is a super compact little, little lens. I love the pop-out hood on this. It's I've always found it just a great lens to use. What's wonderful, and that's it. Um, and then this is the Apple Fifty. Uh, this again is just an absolutely stunning lens. Um, it's got a really nice brass hood with it, a uh, brass cap, which really fits on quite securely. Um, the size and weight, the size is like I say, a little bit bigger than the the version five, but not much bigger. The weight again, a little bit heavier, but this is still lighter than the Summicron Aspherical. Uh, and smaller, so I, I end up just using this lens probably 95% of the time now. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, the focus is got a really short focus zone. It's just so smooth. It's it's crazy. Uh, it's a little stiff at the moment because this is a new lens, but I think it'll kind of give slightly as I use it. Um, but it it is beautifully smooth and. Aperture stops uh, again. It's just smooth, great aperture stops. It doesn't lock in place as good as the version five Summicron, in my opinion. It's kind of a little bit loose. I'd rather it a bit kind of a uh, bit of a stronger click, so you can't accidentally move it. But you know, that's not the end of the world. And it's got this beautiful little slide out hood, you just twist it and it pops out and locks in place and that is a really great design. I mean I never found a problem with this pull out hood but this one is really beautiful. But it is just optically a stunning lens, it's so so sharp when you shoot on the uh, on the M240 and I'm, I presume it will be the same, probably, well it will be more so on the, on the monochrome camera. But it's um, it's just a beautiful lens. If you can afford to buy one, if you can pick one up, I would definitely recommend getting one because it is a lens that you can use kind of literally every single day. It's such a stunning lens. Uh, and I always think a lens like this is kind of almost money in the bank. You know, if you buy a lens like this, you can probably sell it at some point and get the same money back or make money on it. So I think just go, go and get it and use it, enjoy it. It's an, it's an amazing lens. That's it really. It's, uh, it's my video. There's plenty of other websites outside that do far more uh, scientific tests on it, so I'm not going to go into that. My own, this video was really just to show you the size compared to each other, because when I was looking to, to purchase one I couldn't really find anywhere that actually showed both lenses together. Uh, so hopefully this kind of does that. 
uh, if you want to know more about the lens, the lens in view, I, uh, there's plenty of places out there. I always find read reviews. Uh, it's quite a good website, quite balanced, and quite a good read. So maybe check that out. Uh, but that's it, really. Thank you.